blast for most South Carolina students. Anderson County, you see behind us, was one of the many counties where students returned back to class today. And this year is a little different. WIF of News Horse Allie Miles explains the new law making it safer for kids to get to school. It depends who you ask. The first day back means different things to different kids. Are you excited? A little bit. I'm just excited about everything. Students aren't the only ones ready for their first day back. Oh, lots of learning, lots of fun, positivity. We're really um, focusing on being positive and earning rewards, and I'm just so excited. Lots of learning, lots of learning. <laughs> but it's not just new shoes, books, and backpacks this year. One big change this year a new law. Authorities can mount cameras onto school buses to make sure that drivers are stopping when they need to. Some districts have already made the addition. Others will do it throughout the year. Senator Thomas Alexander, who announced the law earlier in the month, explained why they made the change. Law enforcement does a great job at each and every level, but under the previous law, they had to witness firsthand any of these violations, and I think that was the challenge. And for parents and principals, this law is one they fully support. Safety is always an issue for me, so anything that we can do to keep our children safe is fine with me. See, I've seen them. I've seen them just pass the school bus, even though there's a stop sign, they still uh, try to pass them, so it, that's good. In Spartanburg County, Allie Miles, WYFF News 4. Now, officers will review the school bus video. First time offenders will be fined a minimum of $500 and maximum of $1,000, plus six points on your driver's license. Two time offenders will be fined a minimum of $2,000 and given six points on your record.